Hello and welcome to my F1 24 driver crew mate here today for the Italian Grand Prix here at Monza the Temple of Speed for the penultimate round of the 2024 season but before we go over to the race weekend FIA have announced some technical regulation changes to the aero and the powertrain so in the background I've just been saving these up ready for next year and hopefully we can take a big step forward because we have started to pull back a bit in the last couple of races but we're in to qualify now and we're going to find a corner we've got up to the line we cross the line and that's good enough to just put us inside the top 10 by the end of the session though we've got purple in the first sector we've got a purple best in the middle sector we are flying around the temple of speed up to the line but it's only going to be good enough for P7 Let's go. The Racing third permanent circuit built anywhere on earth. Monza has always been special. Now it's been providing motor racing memories for a century. Welcome to the Italian Grand Prix. It's raining out there. 3.6 miles of Monza circuit will therefore be pretty tricky in these low grip conditions. We've got the Parabolica, or as it's now known, the Curva Alberetto. It's gonna put the drivers to the test. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. World champion Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Stroll, Sainz, Albon, Brown, Norris, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Russell, Gasly, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Joe Ocon, Bottas, and Kevin Magnussen fills the last spot on the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head down trackside for today's race. Welcome to the commentary box, I'm Alex Jakes. Alongside me, a real authority on all things motor racing. It's a warm welcome back to Anthony Davidson. Now, those final hours before a race, did you have a routine? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season and the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. Right then, the formation lap has started and I must say the weather conditions aren't the best today for visibility and grip. As each driver performs this lap, they'll be wanting to settle in and concentrate as this race in these conditions will require a lot of focus. As the cars make their way back to the starting grid to form up and get ready for lights out, let's hope the race ahead today is a thrilling one that will go down as a memorable Grand Prix in the history books. So it's a wet race here at Monza, who will master the Temple of Speed. And we are racing here at Monza with one of the shocking to start as we struggle to find the traction as we head down towards the long run into the first chicane. We're going to break a little bit earlier, try and look to the outside of our teammate there as there's a McCarran on the inside. Someone's in between. A little bit further back is Fernando Alonso, so I can't say that Charles Leclerc as we continue to struggle to find the power, the traction to get it down. As this is Leclerc going around the outside of Fernando Alonso, as side by side as they go into the chicane, Charles Leclerc gets the job done. On Fernando Alonso, it's a Red Bull who leads as we head through the the next corner and now into the Hascari chicane we go. 
We've all been all over the back of by Lando Norris with can't really catch Carlos Sainz in the early stages and Charles Leclerc's got an unbelievable look after the historic strain he's got. Lando Norris he's gone for a look down the inside of us. He's decided to back out of that and lift fight another day. It's going off the track he's been taken and the final corner gifted Leclerc that position. Also Fernando Alonso the position as well. He's gone for it. We've lost two places here in one corner but we're going to send it late down the inside we've ghosted through the Aston Martin of Fernando Alonso there bit annoying that would have been a massive crash if it weren't for the ghosting Alonso's nearly got Leclerc around the outside Leclerc hangs on though to keep that position keep his P9 his P8 in the race now heading down into the second chicane we go this is Fernando Alonso who's locked up made a big mistake Alonso doesn't make mistakes like that but he's lost two positions there he's lost out to Lambert and to the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton as Leclerc tries to go to our outside again we, we defend him off we put a wheel in the gravel though and now Leclerc's going to the outside of this again but we have enough of our car in front to cover him off as we head down into the Hiscari chicane Leclerc's on the inside of us again as the Aston Martin of the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton is in the mix as well Fernando Alonso has got past Charles Leclerc just behind us Alonso's gained the positions back as now to the inside goes Fernando Alonso we're nearly four wide here three wide we've lost out once again to the Aston and the Ferrari we're now got Lewis Hamilton filling our mirrors it looks like the Aston and the Ferrari have gone and we're going to have to look at the Mercedes behind as he gets closer and closer to the outside of us as we are and he's a little bit too far back as the two Mercedes are going wheel to wheel now just behind us George Russell still behind Lewis Hamilton as now Leclerc is all over the back of Fernando Alonso as into lap 4 Fernando Alonso has made the same mistake and that has waved us back through the back in front of the most experienced driver on the grid in the most experienced conditions today cannot slow the car down at the second chicane as that's our teammate What's happened to Albon? Albon, who was miles at the road from us, has gone off the track. What's happened to Albon? He was off. There's a Haas also in the mix. It's all gone wrong. The virtual safety car had been deployed, and around lap four, the rain was really starting to ease off. It was nowhere near as heavy as it was on lap one. So we are going to risk it. We're and box for a set of the intermediate tyres this could end very badly it could end very good it is just a virtual safety car so we are going to have to do a bit of catching back up but this may or may not be the right call the wets go off the inters go on and let's see what happens will the AI respond if this is the right tyre to be on as we trundle down the pit lane we're back out and now let's see what we can do on these tyres as we're trying to find the grip and the grip was there as we're back to full racing speed we're about four three seconds behind and in one lap we found three seconds we're setting the timing screen the light has gone purple in the first sector personal best in the middle we're still struggling to get out of the final corner but we set the fastest lap of the race you can see there's really a dry line starting to appear here as Magnussen spun round at turn one and now he's blocking the track both houses involved Joe involved as well but in the background here we come we've got past we go through the middle of both houses there as we've moved up now into P18 
that was some fairly easy places as Holkenbank is on the back of the snail he's a little bit too far back to do anything though on his wet tyres AI thinking that he's still ready for the wet but we are absolutely flying lap 10 we box on the end of lap 4 we've flown round the outside of Joe we've caught him so quickly there up the road next is Bottas up the road next is Joe this is Carlos Sainz now into the garage okay locks up and goes for a little trip through the gravel it was turning it was a good race so far for Ferrari what is Sainz doing he's just sat there that's what must have happened into Alex Albon and now he's falling right down to the back of Carlos Sainz so lap 13 this is the battle just up the road from us we are about three seconds off it's about this yellow flags because Bottas has gone straight on at the Parabolico, the cover Alboreto, as it is now called. Carlos Sainz in the mix. We've caught these up big time in just a couple of laps. Is that we head down towards Tower 1? We are flying, we're getting closer and closer to the Sauber. We're going to go to the inside, we're nearly on the grass as we head down. We're going to look to get the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz as well. We do, if we can get the exit around the outside, which we can. We've got two places there. Look at the grip we have compared to these on the wets. We're going to go sailing around the outside at the Cabo Grande. Albon really pushing us to the edge of the track but we get the job done next at the road is the Aston Martin who were looking to try and cut back we find the traction is Fernando Alonso and we're on the inside of him we may have found four cars in the first sector here as Alonso goes wide he's not happy in that Aston Martin today but we've gained four places so this is just behind us now this is Fernando Alonso coming under pressure from our teammates as we head down into the first chicane Albon trying to fend to the outside of Fernando Alonso who can get the exit in the background it looks like Alonso's got the job done as lap 16 finally the AI think it's time for the Inters and you can see literally everyone is pretty much in the pits here so they're going to have, what's that, about 11, 12 lap younger tyres than us. But we've done a great undercut here. We've found one place so far. We were at P9. As here they come out of the pits on Inters. The rain still coming down. It's nowhere near as hard as it was in the opening couple of laps. Because there is Charles Leclerc. And we find ourselves now on the end of lap 18 in P3. Three. We're on for a podium. It could be our first podium since we won back in Monaco. Our first win in Formula 1. The two Red Bulls have got that much of an advantage that they've both pitted for the Inters and they're still miles out in front. This is the only for Hulkenberg's engine popping in the back of that Ferrari engine is blowing up in the back of the Haas and that's Hulkenberg's day done and dusted let's skip on to lap 21 we've been on these tyres since lap 5 and you can see the tyres are screaming out a bit more just at the road from Charles de Clare we were just keeping them out of DRS zone but we're just keeping an eye on that rear left tyre in the closing stages can we hold on as we have a big mistake there we're trying to hunt, keep the Ferrari behind the most unpopular defence of the day from the crowd they want to see a Ferrari on the podium a win looks to be too far as Leclerc tries to go to the inside of us there's just a couple of laps for us to hold on here this could be one of the best strategy calls we've ever made so far in this career mode but you can see the tyre is screaming out it's just got to do one more lap and we're on for a podium as we go into the parabolica the tires let go the tires let go we've got a puncher we're spinning off and into the barrier at the final corner okay, there was just one pressure. single lap to real. go the puncher has cost us here as we limp back to the pits we're going to see 
a podium and even points disappear on the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix. It was looking so good. We've nearly done one of the best strategy calls ever. There needs to be one lap less next season here at Monza. It's all gone wrong on the final lap. We drop from P3 all the way down to P17 on the final lap of the race. We're going to have some grip, but the damage is done in this race. What could have been a great result has turned into a disaster. This is a replay of what happened, and you can see the left rear tyre lets go as we tap the barrier. We had no... race over take care of the car on the way in that's a spectacular victory then and with it the championship is secure it's been a magnificent season and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today they led from lights out to the flag at the end and their race victory was never in doubt was it brilliant stuff by them Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So that's been then your Italian Grand Prix won by Max Verstappen, his first win as a four-time world champion. Sergio Perez decided to turn up for once, so it is a Red Bull 1-2, which means they are the Constructors World Champions for the third year in a row. It was Lando Norris who rounded out the podium. Leclerc bottled the podium that we gifted him to finish P5 just behind Oscar Piastri but our race then it could have been so much better there was just one more lap we were nursing that left rear tyre it just needed to hold on one more lap and we would have got our best result since we won in Monaco that's a tough one to take very tough one to take especially because of Albon's issue 
early on in the race means we throw away 15 points and we come away from Monza pointless. So Max Verstappen then going into the final race next time out in Brazil now has a 91 point lead in the championship over Charles Leclerc is very much hotting up between him and Lando Norris in terms of in terms of the battle for second place that good race for Piastri means that we have dropped down to P11 down at the back then there's still two drivers still yet to score in terms of the constructors then Red Bull are constructors world champions the battle now is pretty much for second place there's 21 points between Ferrari and McLaren Mercedes are pretty much out of it now as well we stay P6 on 54 points Aston Martin are too far gone now so we're pretty much sorted for p6 in the constructors it is Haas who are still bottom so that's been then your italian grand prix the penultimate round of the 2024 season it could have been a good result it turned out not to be but we go in next though to brazil for the final round of the season and the first sprint race as well it's going to be an interesting one to come back to find out how the 2024 season ends I'll see you in Brazil. Goodbye.